What is going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Bassin' with Watts. And in today's episode, I have my Hobie kayak um, at a little local lake here. And we're just going to be, I don't know, I'm going to run the, the Torquedo Ultralight and just kind of show you how it operates and how I have it set it up. Um, how I have it set up and I haven't I haven't done a video like this yet So I felt like I wanted to do it today. So and I could talk to you a little bit about uh, the fish finder setup that I have on here too I'm gonna be testing that as is out as well, but the main focus is gonna be on that torpedo trolling motor So stay tuned guys. Oh. All right, so this is what I got going on. I have the throttle mounted here with a yak attack mount. Um, and then all I do is just the raise up bar right here. I just tie a bowling knot, which is just pretty much it's a, a loop and hooked it up onto the ram ball to hold it up. And then I run this line all the way back along with the cables here um, to the battery, run it through. I got two eyelets here to keep everything organized. And then I have the the motor mount mounted to these four screws that are already on the Hobie Outback 2019. And that make my life a lot easier. I went ahead and just tied two knots, lifted these two screws up, cut two little cables or two little ropes. And pretty much this is my steering along with, as this turns, it turns the rudder on the bottom as well. So... Let's go ahead and get this thing on the water and show you guys how it operates. have a lot of weight in the back so it actually pushes the motor down and the reason what what's happening is I'm gonna flip the I'm gonna flip the camera around so you guys can see um, the prop is actually pushing out of the water just a little bit so it's not grabbing right Wow it's freaking windy hope it's not making a bunch of wind noise so typically I have like all my fishing stuff back here so yeah it's not catching the water good and the reason for that is so I guess they came out with uh, the Torquedo, the newer, the newer style motors. The shaft is actually a little bit longer to go down into the water just a little bit more. So that's kind of the problem I'm running into because all I did was buy the mount. I bought the mount and just put my the original shaft on there. So that's something to keep in mind if you guys are going to go buy a Torquedo. Um, just remember that the new mount comes with a new shaft. So that it gets deeper in the water so it can propel better. Um, but I mean, I'm gonna run with what I have, so that's what I've been doing. But I'm gonna take you guys on the water with me and just kinda, I don't know, we're just goofing around today. Showing you guys my kayak fishing setup with the to uh, with the Torquedo trolling motor on it. So you can hear the noise. Yeah, you can see it back there. 
It's just not catching right, but when it does catch, they need to eat some more food or something. But yeah, it's a pretty simple setup, guys. I can get um, with a load in the back and the prop down a little bit more. I get around like 5.5, 5.3 miles per hour. Um, typically, I can run with this battery, and now I have the new upgraded battery. I can typically run around. Ooh, we're marking some fish. Okay, okay. Um, I can typically run about like all day with this setup. Um, and that's pretty much like I'll use the torpedo to get to the spot, the pedals um, to kind of key in on on the spots. You know what I mean? And uh, that way I save that battery and and don't overdo it to where I don't want to be out there really far away and not get any kind of marking bait ball. I, dude, I love this Garmin. So what I have here is a uh, the Garmin 93 SV and <clears throat> the reason why I switched from the Lowrance unit to this unit um, is that live scope. I, I thought the live sight was going to be similar to live scope, but I guess there's some patents or something like that. So, And I got the 9-inch screen for the same price as the 7-inch screen from Bass Pro. So go check that out right now. I think they have it on sale for $600, and it's still going. I it, In my area, I bought the last one, and I know this for sure because they're now they're out of stock. But check your local Bass Pro shops or uh, Cabela's. It's on sale for 600 bucks. But I got all that installed as well. We're marking. God, this fish finder is so sweet. I like having a big one. I got the 9 inch too. So, but yeah, that's pretty much my kayak fishing setup for uh, 2020. And this is going to be my tournament fishing, um, river fishing, pretty much all around kayak. I'm hopefully going to be doing some striper fishing uh, come spring. I would love to do some now, but I haven't had a chance to. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Bassin' with Watts and, and sharing my kayak with you guys and how I have it set up and how the, the Torquedo trolling motor runs. Man, I need like a... But, yeah, I have the Torquedo trolling motor runs on this kayak and everything. But, yeah, stay tuned for another episode, guys. I will see you guys on the next episode.